All right, Horticulture 160 Plant Materials 1. We are here for Plant Group 11. We are right outside of the old Horticulture building. As you can see over there is the Tech building. And I am joined by several birds at this location. So it's awesome hearing them doing their talking. But I wanna show you plant number one, your Florida Lacothia. It's right here, right outside of the old Horticulture building. So nice looking drooping plant, uh, very brittle wood. As you can see, they've already pruned it back a little bit, uh, but, a, but a very nice plant indeed. So this is plant number one, Florida Lacothia, right outside of old horticulture building. Let's move on to plant number two. All right, we're here for plant number two. For plant group 11, we have our drooping Lacothia, and it is just outside of Hooser Hall, the cafeteria down below there. But this is your drooping Lacothia, plant number two for plant group 11. We have quite a few right here, so uh, very, very, um, very good spot for the drooping Lacothia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're still with plant group 11, and I wanted to show you uh, one of the uh, varieties of number three, Ligustrum japonicum, your Japanese privet. This is your curly leaf Ligustrum. So I'm gonna show you a couple different samples with uh, your Ligustrum. See why it's called the curly leaf? But we're right outside of Almond Center on main campus. And you can see a big cami cypress there. But this is plant group three. As you note, the, uh, the fruit there, the, uh, the berries. But this is your curly leaf Ligustrum, your Ligustrum japonica plant number three. And then we're gonna walk down to right here what most people in the green industry call just privet, Japanese privet. And it's right here. And so this is your Japanese privet, you know, in the same family as the, uh, the curly leaf ligustrum. And there's one other uh, plant that's real popular in the landscape. This is directly behind Hooser. So grab a couple samples, you know, of this one as well as uh, the curly leaf ligustrum. So they are just walking distance apart. All right, remember we were talking about plant three, your Ligustrum, your Japanese privet. Here is another one. I mean, we're right here outside of Hooser Hall. It's on the sidewalk on Oak Grove. But remember I just showed you the curly leaf Ligustrum? Look at those blueberries there. But this is the one that gets real tall. People plant it around their patios. The blooms are unbelievable. So if you wanted to, uh, to really spice up your patio with some fragrance, uh, your Ligustrum will do it. People do it on standard all the time, meaning that they tree form it. Now this one's been here for years and years. And so it's gotten uh, pretty big. But this is another example of Ligustrum japonica and check out those fruits up there. So, you know, we've seen three versions of Ligustrum here this week. Good deal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're still right outside of Hooser Hall. As you can see, there's Almond Center. But I wanted to show you plant number four. Plant number four is your Catawba rhododendron big plant, big puffy softball size flowers, but loves the shade, but a very beautiful plant, perfect for foundation plantings uh, and all of that. So uh, uh, an array of colors that you will find from pinks to whites to reds, burgundies, just a beautiful uh, plant to have in the landscape.
Now, let's move on to plant number five. All right, we're back at Hooser Hall, and I want to show you where your indica azalea is. This is plant number five. And this is your indica azalea. A little bit different than the ones we've seen not as shiny of a leaf a little bit of fuzz on it but a beautiful plant nonetheless i've got one planted right outside of my house that was given to my dad when i was born from joe's landscaping joe marion joe's landscaping give dad uh, the plants right after I was born as a gift and as you know I own uh, the house that uh, my dad was raised in my uh, my girls were the fifth generation to grow up in the house and me and my wife own it now and we still have those azaleas right outside of it and there is another rhododendron that I want to show you there sometime that is very hard to find but this is plant number five, your indica azalea. All right, class, we're back over here again by the Almond Center. And I want to show you plant number six, your Kurumi azalea. Now, they are all on this bank right here. As you can see, we have one that's getting ready to open up uh, a dark pink or almost burgundyish color right here but getting ready to open up and you can see we're getting ready to have some white blooms here your delaware valley white is one of the most popular azaleas used in the landscape and so we have a a mixture of the delaware valley whites here and then we have uh one of the the dark pinks but if you have ever heard of the name Hershey red that will be uh, part of your plant number six as well the Kurumi azalea so we got us a nice little azalea bank here on main campus good deal let's move to plant number seven all right now i want to show you plant number seven your uh your sadzuki azalea i've always called them sadzukis or for short i've called them gumpo azaleas so gumpo is a sadzuki and so we're still down in the hearts garden and we are along you know miller street where it ends into oak grove but this is your gumpo or sadzuki azalea. We got a four, four of them planted right here. So uh, gumpos come in an array of colors. They're short, they almost hover the ground. So a good spot where you don't need anything tall. But this is your rhododendron X hybridum gunry sadzuki or your gumpo azalea. All right, Horticulture 160, Plant Materials 1. We're here for our last plant. Plant number eight, the yucca filamentosa. Plant number eight. And as you can see, we're right outside of Hooser Hall again. But that is plant number eight your yucca filamentosa there are several several species of yucca out there but i wanted to particularly pick this one out as well it's one of the old timey plants you know you would see this at grandmother's house as well so good deal plant number eight